Performance Inside Fitness Informant.com, Fitness Informant's YouTube channel. I'm Fitness Informant founder and CEO, Ryan Buck. I want to thank you for stopping by to check out a 100% honest, no bullshit review of Blackstone Labs Adrenal Care Tablets. Let me first start by telling you guys that adrenal fatigue is a common term or common, a common diagnosis thrown around the bodybuilding and fitness industry, but however, it's not a real thing. According to the Mayo Clinic, adrenal fatigue is just a term to describe the symptoms associated with adrenal insufficiency, also known as Addison's disease. So before we hop into this full in-depth review on Blackstone Labs Adrenal Care, it's important to know two things. One, adrenal fatigue is not real. Adre adrenal insufficiency or a Addison's disease is an adrenal care is not created to cure anything with Addison's disease. Essentially, adrenal care from Blackstone Labs was created to combat the symptoms associated with adrenal insufficiency. So symptoms of adrenal insufficiencies include fatigue, depression, stress, body aches, different skin pigmentation colors, things like that. So is it going to correct it? No, not necessarily. Is it going to make you feel better while using it? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about adrenal care on four different categories. One, we're going to talk about the ingredients used on this product. What is put in this product and what are those ingredients intended for? And then we're going to talk about the overall dosages. Are they correct? We're going to talk about the effectiveness. And then finally, we're going to talk about the value of this product. So adrenal care is uh, an interesting product. I have the breakdown of all the ingredients at fitnessinformer.com in depth in terms of what they do. But essentially, you start off with... Uh, Inositol hexacyanate at 750 milligrams per tablet. Now, per the instructions, you're gonna take two of these, two servings a day, so you're gonna get 1,500 milligrams of this. This is actually technically basically niacin, vitamin B12, it actually is going to help fight fatigue, give you more energy, which is what you want if you're suffering from adrenal fatigue. Again, I'm gonna throw that word around even though it doesn't exist, uh, of fatigue, uh, you know, in terms of overall body fatigue. So uh, 1,500 milligrams per day you're gonna get with this. The recommended dosage is 1,500 to 4,000 milligrams. So you're falling right in the low end dosage of the recommended dosage of this vitamin B12 niacin type of an ingredient. Next, you're going to go ahead and you're going to get 750 milligrams of DMAE or 1500 milligrams of DMAE when the recommended dosage of this is anywhere from 300 to 2000 milligrams per day. DMAE has been, it shows that it helps reduce the pigmentation and impairs cognitive function. So as you age, there's these pigmentations that form in your brain that obviously when older people get older, they start to have memory loss, they start to forget things. DMAE fights against that pigmentation to allow you to have a clear mind and have cognitive functions that you need to have. Being more alert means you're going to be more, you're going to have uh, less fatigue and be more ready to roll. Then you're going to get bovine adrenal gland extract at 500 milligrams or 1,000 milligrams per serving size. This comes from slaughtered carcasses or slaughtered uh, animals. Actually, it's derived from the adrenal glands of slaughtered cows, pigs, and sheep. It's gross, right? Well, does it work? That's the thing. It actually is used to treat stress, fatigue, pain, swelling, etc. It's essentially putting some of those adrenal hormones back into your body that in which animals have that are similar to what we produce as human beings. You get a thousand milligrams and the recommendation for uh, daily dosage, it varies. The studies are inconclusive at this point. It varies on age, body weight, etc. So I can't tell you if this is dosed correctly or not, but at a thousand milligrams, it seems like a sufficient dosage of bovine uh, adrenal gland, gland extract. Next, you're going to get 300 milligrams or per serving 600 milligrams of magnesium glycinate. Now, magnesium glycinate is typically used to help regulate blood pressure. Now, high blood pressure can be a a symptom of adrenal insufficiency or Addison disease. So it's going to help treat the high blood pressure, help the blood flow better through your body. Better blood flow, more energy, more oxidization. You're going to feel more alert and feel better uh, overall. Then you get 400 milligrams of licorice extract. The recommended dosage of this per day is 1,500 to 300 milligrams. So let me backtrack. Magnesium glycinate is at 600 milligrams. Recommended dosage is 300 to 500 milligrams a day. So a really good dosage on magnesium glycinate. Licorice extract, 400 milligrams of the serving size. Recommended dosage per day is 1,500 to 300 milligrams. So again, coming in higher on where we're supposed to get per daily dosage of licorice extract. This is actually uh, an interesting ingredient that people actually use to treat Addison's disease, to treat adrenal hormones insufficiency. So uh, it's very interesting that they're using it in this, and this is the recommended dosage uh, per WebMD. Um, so it's actually a reputable source. So using licorice extract, if people actually put this under their tongue to treat hormone insufficiencies from the adrenal glands. So solid dosage or solid dosage A, solid ingredient by Blackstone Labs. 
And then you're going to get Korean ginseng extract at 100 milligrams. Now, Korean ginseng extract at 100 milligrams is actually 200 milligrams per day. Recommended dosage is 200 to 400 milligrams per day. So again, we're in that healthy range for dosage. What this actually does, it's used to fight off stress in your life, to produce more energy, and to reduce fatigue. Finally, you get 300 micrograms or 600 micrograms of Huperzine A. Huperzine A is going to be a cognitive enhancing ingredient that you take that you find in a lot of pre-workouts and other supplements that helps clear your mind, helps you focus, and again, back to what we talked about earlier with DMAE, having a better cognitive functioning brain or, or body, it means you're going to be more alert and you're going to have less fatigue. So overall, I think every ingredient that is selected in this product, and this product was something that I was really looking forward to trying, it combats a symptom of Addison disease or adrenal insufficiency or adrenal fatigue, if that's what you're commonly referred to it to. So it fights a symptom. Again, it's, pro it's not meant to cure. Addison's disease at all, even though licorice extract is used to used by people who actually have Addison's disease, uh, but it does a good job in terms of recommended dosage and the ingredient selections are good. So the doses and ingredients on this product are phenomenal. They're exactly where you'd want them to be. They're really reputable ingredients selected in adrenal care. Now the fact is, does this work? For me, I was running pretty high stims, pretty high caffeines in pre-workouts, which majority of us probably watching this video do. And at some point, the more caffeine you have, the more that you need. The more that you need, the more that you need. And then you start becoming dependent on caffeine. Adrenal care is supposed to basically revert that. It's essentially going to help combat stress, combat fatigue in your body, so the caffeine becomes more effective. I can vouch I took a week off of the gym, a week off of any pre-workouts, and I got back in. Only after a week, but I was taking adrenal care, two servings per day, uh, like the recommended di directions on the bottle. And I felt like caffeine had more of an impact on my workouts. I felt like I could take less caffeine, two, 250 milligrams, less stimulants, and still have a really good workout with good energy. I also felt less tired while taking adrenal care as well. Now, it could have been a combination of taking a week off from the gym where I go hard, and it could have been a combination of trying to cut down on caffeine as well, but it, overall, it works. So in terms of effectiveness, for me, the effectiveness comes to, does it reduce fatigue levels? And it did. Uh, it also allowed caffeine to be more effective in my pre-workouts. In terms of values, you're gonna get 120 capsules in this. Two capsules equals one serving, 60 servings, or it ends up being basically a three-day supply if you're taking two servings per day per the recommended doses. At their official website, this is like 60 bucks. So it's pretty high. Um, I guess what I would try first before you hop off and buy this is try to reduce the amount of caffeine, try to make sure you're getting good sleep, maybe take a week off of the gym if you need to. If you're still suffering from fatigue, body aches, maybe some different discoloration in the skin, then you can go ahead and jump out at Adrenal Care from Blackstone Labs at 60 bucks. Then it's worth it. But I would bet, I would, I would take the necessary steps before buying a $60 product to see if you can resolve it on your own. And that again comes back to reducing caffeine especially is the biggest one. Don't become so caffeine dependent where you're drinking. X amount of cup of coffee a day, a pre-workout loaded with stims and caffeine. Is this product worth it? Absolutely, it's worth 60 bucks when you need it. So I don't think that you need to run out there and if you've been taking a high stim pre-workout for years, take this and take this in collaboration with a high stim pre-workout. If you're gonna take adrenal care from Blackstone Labs, you need to reduce your caffeine because that will give you the most effective way to use the supplement. You don't wanna be using a, ca if you can use a non-stim pre-workout, even better, reduce coffee, reduce energy drinks, use this product, rejuvenate the body, and you'll be ready to go. For the full in-depth review on this, check below for the link to read every detail on every ingredient that we talked about. Follow us on all of our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Check below as well to see if we have a coupon code to save you a few dollars on this to take some money, uh, put it back in your pocket while still getting this awesome supplement. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe now button here below to stay up to date with all Blackstone Labs reviews, all supplement reviews, news, deals, rankings, and more. Check out our official podcast. It's called Be Informed, Live Fit. It's on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, Spotify, all your podcast platforms, as well as right here on YouTube. And for everything fitness related, check out our official website with our no bullshit report, fitnessinformant.com.